Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, boys and girls, my name is Gaming Bird. We just got a bombshell dropped on us this morning. Apparently, Fantasy Flight Games put out a press release for all of their Warhammer properties, including games like Forbidden Stars, Conquest, anything having to do with the Warhammer title that is licensed by Games Workshop. This is the press release, and this is going to be a very condensed version of it, but I'm going to go into a bit more detail into what's going on. But basically, what they have done is they have announced that they are no longer going to be licensing their games from Games Workshop past February 28th, 2017. And what that means is that they are no longer going to be printing those games nor supporting them past that date. The press release reads as such. In 2008, Fantasy Flight Games first began publishing great games set in the amazing Games Workshop universes. From the early days of the partnership, Games Workshop played a key role in Fantasy Flight's game library, helping us develop games like Dark Heresy and Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, while creating and established new board games like Chaos in the Old World and Forbidden Stars, which both are actually really surprisingly good games, by the way, and the living card games such as Warhammer 40,000 40, Conquest, which came out two years ago, and also Warhammer Invasion. Games Workshop has been a fantastic partner for the past eight years, and we've been thrilled that we have had the opportunity to work together and bring so many new and exciting games into the world. As much as we have enjoyed creating these games, our current licensing term is coming to an end. Beginning February 28th, 2017, Fantasy Flight Games will no longer offer any sale, any games in conjunction with Games Workshop. This includes Talismond, which they own the license to. Uh, and all games taking place in the Warhammer Fantasy and Warhammer 40,000 universe. We're extremely grateful to our friends at Games Workshop for giving us the opportunity to play, the, play games in the worlds that they created and wish them nothing but the best in future endeavors. Basically what this means is that they are no longer going to be supporting these games past February 28th, 2017. The list of games, as far as what games are going to be discontinued, this includes Black Crusade, Blood Bowl, Team Manager, Chaos in the Old World, Chaos Marauders, Dark Heresy, Second Edition Dark Heresy, Death Watch, Forbidden Stars, Fury of Dracula, Only War, Relic, Rogue Trader, Base Hulk, Death Angels, Talisman, Warhammer Disc Wars, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, Warhammer Invasion the card game, Warhammer Quest the adventure card game, and Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. Wow. Um, that's, that's pretty big, considering that a lot of these games are really well done by Fantasy Flight. I, I certainly applaud them for all the hard work they put into all of these games. I've played Chaos in the Old World uh, briefly before in the past. I think I've still got a copy somewhere lying around. 40k Conquest was a really promising living card game. It's, it's still really good. I highly recommend picking it up. The 40k RPG system is one of the best I've seen in a very long time. As far as role-playing games go, it is brutal. Like, it, the game system is brutal. Like, you have to go in with the mindset that your, your character's going to die. Again, it's the 40k universe. Of, of course your character's gonna die. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to put out this short video and just kind of let you know that, hey, look, um, they're no longer going to be supporting this in the future. What does this mean for Games Workshop in the future? A couple different things, actually, from a business perspective. Uh, they're no longer getting uh, money revenue from Fantasy Flight for their games, which actually, if memory serves right, was actually a pretty big chunk of the revenue that Games Workshop was actually getting. Um, a lot of what Games Workshop is actually doing nowadays is um, getting their money from licensing. The miniature side of it has actually decreased over the years, but their income from licensing to other companies has increased. So yeah, their, their, their profits are going to actually drop because of this, most definitely. The most important thing is these games are no longer going to be supported anymore because Fantasy Flight just doesn't own the license to them anymore. Or they won't actually pass March of next year. I would highly recommend you go out and get some of these games while you still can. Especially Dark Heresy 2nd Edition, they've done a pretty fantastic job with updating the current rule set. Especially if you're a 40k nerd lord, I definitely recommend going out and picking it up. But yeah, um, this is just a short video just kind of let you know what's going on with that. Um, I'll post a link to the press release in the description below. And yeah, that's, that's really it. Uh, this has been Gaming Bird, signing off. Keep rolling those criticals, guys. I'll see you next time.